It's just we can't put the back strap any further back. She'll catch the, the props. Because that'll make some splash if she drops, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? She should be quite light, Gavin, because it took all the beer out of it. So guys, drift boot is out of the water, wire brush is out, and time to start doing a bit of work underneath the boat. We're going to do a few jobs on anodes, we're going to treat a bit of rust. Not looking forward to this, but this is part of boating, it has to be done. Now thankfully there's very few spots where there is rust. You see little specks of it here, that was, there was an anode welded on there at one stage and there was another one welded on here both of those have been removed so it's really just a matter of getting in with the wire board scraping those parts down and I'm going to treat them with stuff called Vactan and I'll tell you more about that later on it's great gear for treating rust you see a few little specks there so I just want to treat all those get them all cleaned up so basically, that's, there's three different flavors of anodes. There's zinc, magnesium, and aluminium. Zinc is generally only for use in uh, salt water, and in fresh water, you use either magnesium or aluminium. The, um, I'm actually putting a mixture of both of them on because I don't know which website you go on to, they'll tell you which one is better, but I did read somewhere that magnesium anodes don't work as well in polluted water, and what they define as polluted water, I'm not really sure. So, the anodes will corrode away over time, and eventually they'll go, they'll go from this to this. So the anode is a sacrificial preservative, which means so long as the anode is corroding, the metal of the boat shouldn't be corroding. So I'm only using this boat in fresh water. So I have to decide whether to use the magnesium or the aluminium anodes. And what decides it is, in fact, the propellers. You see, if you've got bronze propellers, as you'd have in a shaft drive boat, you would need to use magnesium or aluminium. If you have got an outdrive which has aluminium propellers, then you can only use aluminium anodes. Such is my thinking on it. It's a complex subject, and the more I look into it, the more complex it gets. But uh, what I've done on this boat is I've, I've put on six of these anodes, these are magnesium, and I also have six aluminium anodes. So that way I'm getting the best of both worlds, I hope. The, um, I've read up then, some sites were saying that you can, if you put too many anodes on, it can be harmful, but I read elsewhere that that's not the case. I think if you put, putting too many anodes on your boat may make it look a little bit like an armadillo, but other than that, I don't believe it'll do any harm whatsoever. If you're not sure, Google it, don't take my word for it. So oh guys, when I'm treating the rust, that's what I use, it's stuff called Vactan. Um, I put a link down below as to where you can get it. You, they say to put on one coat, I generally put two coats of it on. It gives a nice glazed finish and it 
once you do that, you paint over, put a bit of primer on it and the rust won't come back. And I have put on really, really bad rust. So if it's been embedded into, into the those part of the back deck had it and it has never come back since. That was six years ago that I did it. Alternatively, there is this one here. This is called, what's it called? Aqua Steel. And I'll put a link on that as well. It's available in it's available on Amazon. It seems to be pretty much the same kind of stuff. They both do exactly the same job. They both seem to work exactly the same way. You can apply them with a roller, you can apply them by spraying. I generally apply them with a brush because I like to have the, the bristle spray to rub it into the metal and make sure it's covering every little bit of, of steel. All you do is I say, just take off the flaky rust. You don't bring it down to bare metal. And you just paint this stuff on. Once it turns black, it's perfect. When you put it on first, it'll be white. And when it turns back, it'll have a lace, slight glazed finish to it. Put primer onto it or you can just paint straight over it and it'll be fine so that's that's what i'm using and it's available in a link below if you're looking to buy this for ireland if you're buying it off amazon you'll have to use the likes of parcel motel where it will be sent to an address in the uk and from there it'll be shipped down to you so right up in the the bow of the boat and just below the water line there's this propeller here this is called a bow thruster and it'll swing the bow of the boat left or right. It's operated by an electric motor, but it's been a bit troublesome. Uh, over the past few years, on more than one occasion, the split pin in it has broken. And it's one of those jobs you can only do when it's out of the water because this split pin is actually below the water line. And it means removing the entire propeller, putting a new pin in and refitting it. It's a dead easy job when it's out of the water, but nigh on impossible to do when you're still floating. So anodes don't have to be bolted on. These ones are welded on. The only thing to watch out for here is that you make sure to, to prime the area where you've put the weld, but to make sure to actually do that on the inside as well. Otherwise the boat will actually start to, will actually start to rust from the inside out. That's a good idea. In fact, it's a very good idea to have somebody inside when you're doing the welding, just to make sure nothing is gonna catch fire. Well, at least now I can claim that I did is some of the work. It's not that hard really. I don't know what they're complaining about. <sighs> yeah, that's me doing. I think I'll leave the rest to professionals. So this is not a cosmetic job. It's not there to make it look good or anything like that. It's just to get essential maintenance done such as anodes and anti-fouling. I should paint from the waterline up to the deck. Um, in an ideal situation, that's what I would do, but this ain't an ideal situation, so I'm not going to do that. That's the boat back in the water. Back in the water, ready to go. And the next episode, we'll be heading off down to the Shannon, and hopefully we'll get onto the bridges and... Um... Yeah, yeah, all on the Shannon there and waterway. Yeah, okay. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.